Question one. As part of a three and a quarter hour badminton training session, pupils received specialist coaching for an hour and 20 minutes. How many minutes of the training session remained? If we count on from an hour and 20 minutes, one hour, we get two hour and 20 minutes. Another hour, we get three hours and 20 minutes. So that's two hours has elapsed, but we've actually gone on too much. So we need to take off five minutes so that we get to three hours and 15 minutes. And that will give us an answer of one hour and 55 minutes. Question two, a test has 45 questions each worth one mark. The pass mark was 60%. How many questions had to be answered correctly in order to have passed the test? So we require 60% of 45 marks. So 10% of 45 would just be 4.5, which means that 20% would be double this amount. So that would be nine. So that means that 60% would just be another three times this amount. So that's 27 marks. Question three, three classes of 28 pupils took the end of key stage three test. 63 pupils gained a level five result. What percentage is this? So we have 84 pupils in total, which is 28 times three and 63 of them achieve the required result. So we need this as a percentage. So it's best to simplify this fraction until we can recognize the required percent. So dividing top and bottom by seven will give us nine out of 12. Dividing again by three will give us three out of four, which is three quarters, which is 75%. Question four. Eight kilometers is about five miles. About how many kilometers is 45 miles? 45 miles, to go from five to 45, you multiply by nine. Doing the same to the other side of this equation, you're gonna do eight times nine equals 72 kilometers equals 45 miles. Question five. The journey from school to a sports centre took 45 minutes each way. The pupil spent two and a half hours at the sports centre. They left school at 08.30. At what time did they return to school? So 45 times two, because it's a return journey, is 90 minutes, which is an hour and a half. We know that they spent two and a half hours at the sports centre, so add those two together, gives you four hours duration. So add that four hours to the starting time of 8.30 in the morning, gives you 12.30. Question six, a bus journey starts at 7.55 and it lasts for 40 minutes. At what time does it finish? So imagine the journey began five minutes later at eight o'clock Adding 40 minutes to that would just give you a finish time of 8.40. So take back those five minutes to get a final answer of 8.35. Question seven. A school day finished at 15.45. There were two afternoon lessons of 50 minutes each with a break of 15 minutes between the lessons. At what time did the first afternoon lesson begin? So the lessons take up 100 minutes, it's two times 50, and the break times take up 30 minutes. So that's a total of 130 minutes, which is the same as two hours, 10 minutes. We subtract that from the finish time, 55, 13, 35. Question eight, 150 pupils correctly completed their sponsored spell of 50 words. Each pupil was sponsored at five pence per word. How much money did the pupils raise in total? Well, 50 times five is 250, 250 pence per pupil or two pounds 50. 
just have to multiply that two pounds fifty by one hundred and fifty pupils. We can break that down into two parts. Two pounds fifty times a hundred is simply two hundred and fifty pounds, and two pounds fifty times by fifty is just going to be half of this amount, which is another one hundred and twenty-five pounds. Add those together, gives you three hundred and seventy-five pounds raised. Question nine. A space 1.5 meters by 1.5 meters is to be used for a flower bed. What is the area in square meters? Um, imagine that it's 15 times 15. We ignore the decimals for now. Um, so that would just be um, 15 times 10 equals 150 plus 15 times 5, which is 75, which equals 225. The actual answer is 2.25 because we've we've multiplied by 10 times too much here and 10 times too much here. So we had to divide our final answer by 100. Question 10. In part one of an exam, a pupil scored 14 marks out of a possible 20. In part two, the pupil scored 21 out of a possible 30 marks. What was his final score for the examination? give your answer as a percentage. So the total number of correct marks was 21 plus 14, which is 35, out of a total maximum score of 50 marks. 35 out of 50 is the same as 70 out of 100, which is 70%. Question 11. There are 130 pupils in a year group. Each has to take home two notices. Paper costs three pence per copy. How much will the notices cost? So 130 times two is 260. Then 260 times by three pence equals 780. If it's easier, think of this as 26 times 3 first and then add the zero on the end. 780 pence is just £7.80. Question 12. A teacher travels from school to a training course. After the course, she returns to school. The distance to the training venue is 26 miles and expenses are paid at 40 pence per mile. How much will she receive? So. It's a return journey, so we have 26 times 2, which is 52 miles travelled, times by 40 pence per mile. So we break this down, we could do 52 times 4, which is 208. It's easier, think of 52 times 2 and then times 2 again. Um, 52 times 40, you just add a zero on the end here. 2,080 pence, better known as 20 pounds, 80 pence.